Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another Bug Snatch Achievement and Trophy Guide and this time I will be putting in all the easy miscellaneous achievements and trophies into one long video rather than all, you know, small separate videos, that's just basically for ease of access as it was. Now a lot of these are very easy but can be missed if you're not paying too much attention to it but, you know, you'll be fine. So, let's open an omelette and crack on. Uh, um, eh? I mean, let's, let's just go, let's just go. So the first achievement that we are going to get... By the way, this is in story order as well. A lot of this is in a sort of co uh, choreographed... Uh, not chore chronological, that's what I'm after. Chronological order as well. So the first one we will be getting is the Everybody Gets One Achievement for catching our first bug snacks. So as we start the game, Phil was going to be there, depressed and really useless. He's going to give us his snack trap, and it basically tells us how to use it. So, hold the left bumper, press the right stick to go up to your snack track, snack trap. Put it by this bush. As you can see, there is a little, like li little line on the floor. That's basically the Strabby's sort of path. So move away as soon as he goes out. Press the right trigger, press the X then to pick him up, and that is your first achievement. Everybody gets one. <clears throat> now there's just 99 long, long, long ones to go. Right, we are going to get another achievement in this area before we move on. You can come back to this area anyway if you want to, but the second one is called Wonderfalls. So turn directly around from where Philbo Baggins was just then. Go behind the waterfall and voila. Wonderf You're my wonderful. It unlocks and you have just laughed at the disgusting noise of my singing voice. Which I'm not surprised. So, third one is a story-related one. This one's very easy. As soon as we do a little bit within the first 20-25 minutes of the game, you will unlock the achievement called Gone Home, and that is for finding our way to the main hub world of Snacksburg. And that, as, as soon as we... Basically, we do a little mission or something for Wamble, who is the farmer dude right there in the straw hat. As soon as he nips off, and we start heading into Straxburg... Straxburg, Snacksburg, Gone Home will unlock. Alrighty, Dingleberries. No, uh, you'll do, you big wiener bag. Anyway, now we're going to get an achievement called Double Trapper for catching two bug snacks in one snack trap. Now, personally, I got quite lucky here, but um, in Garden, so as you can see then, there's a Golden Queeble, that's what it's called, uh, one in there, so... I push him out, get the snack trap, but there is also an orange peel bug in there. So I get, I do get lucky with that one. But if you want an easier one, there is in Garden Garden Grove, which is basically the second area, um, that you can put a snack trap down, put some red sauce there, and there should be two what are called friders should go into the snack trap, and then you can um, get it that way as well. Uh, but that's all you got to do is just get two snack. Two bugs in your snack trap. So, moving on. As soon as we've done the main quest for Befika and she goes on her way to Snacksburg. And you get this. You can get this achievement here. Just go into her cave, pick up her diary, and, well, there we go. That's the Perf Dirt achievement. But again, you can only pick up her diary after you've done her bits of main quest stuff. And she moves on from this cave area into Snacklesburg. She loves the weenies. <laughs> well, don't we all? I mean, not all, but still. Right, next up is launch party. We need to stun a flame bug snacks by launching another bug snacks at it. So on this area, put a launch pad down on the snack pad. Wait until the bunga is underneath it and then press the right trigger. And then what that will do, that will send everything flying, including the one bug snacks. And it will hit the uh, flying bug snacks. So again, just put the launch pad down, then the snack trap. Wait for the bunker to go under it, and then press the right trigger at the flying bug snacks. Right, grab bag. We're into Sugar Pine Woods. Go to the right as we begin the Sugar Pine Woods area. Get your snack grapple out. Again, you can only do this after you get a snack grapple from this area, so you can't get it straight away. Go behind this uh, wall here. That is for the first one. Turn slightly to the right, and just past this rock, right there is the second snack pod. Again, they're just like snacks, they don't move or anything, and they'll always be in the same area. Right, go straight, launch yourself up, and we're going to start coming up to a snowy area. As soon as we, we're just going to start heading to the left, right there. And we are into this area with a sort of log cabin. This will be familiar with you in the story, uh, because you have to do Chandlows and Snorpies 
most uh, story missions here. So what you need to do is grab grab your lunch pad. Sorry, not lunch pad, lunch pad. You need to kind of put it um, sort of on the edge. On the edge right there. Um, I mean, you can probably do that. Yeah, as you can see, it kind of works. So anyway, when you've got it at a specific, <laughs> specific um, place, jump up. Grab the nutty snack pod, that will be your third out of fifth on this one. Now, most biomes, which are basically at new areas, uh, they've either got five snack pods or four. I just thought this one was the easiest to do. They might be easier ones. But from here, we're going to head up to this snowy area. Go all the way down to sort of the left into this ooh, delicious looking lava pit right here. Water lava pit. <clears throat> nice oh, sauna, steam room, yum yum yums. Grab this fourth nutty snack pod, and then from here, what we can do is just go straight. Ignore ignore the enemies. A popsicle. <laughs> my favorite pl my favorite flavor, plain. Anyway, keep going straight. Ignore the Oreo on the floor. Go down this area. And there is the fifth and final one, just behind the basketball pole right there. The wood pole. And that will be the grab bag achievement. Now again, don't worry if you've missed some, you can literally just sleep, you can go to sleep, sleep till noon or whatever, come back and they'll all be reset. Right, we we have to solve the secret in the lava or the dunes. These are the, the final two areas that you will come to, ignoring the starting right there. So these are the final two areas what you come to. If you come to Boiling Bay, you will see these four statues. All you got to do is just put these in the order of the teeth, as it were. So on the very right, the fourth one, we're going to push that one down first. Then the second one, right there. And then it'll be the third one, because it's got three straws or teeth or fags coming out of it you know cigarettes sorry and then the very first one and that will that yeah that should get you the that the that reminds me of a puzzle achievement not only that you now have a shortcut into the sizzling sands area so if you're in the sizzling sands area first there's another puzzle you can do which is just the worms which all you have to do is get them facing each other and there we go right next one is say cheese we need to scan a grumpus after hitting them with cheese this um if you end up missing any of these, you can just do it to Eggabel up in the Frosted Peak, so don't panic. But this is what you do with your Sauce Slinger. Go over to Cheese, hit whoever it is. You can do this at any time. As soon as you get the cheese, you can do it at any time. Take a picture of him with cheese on his face. And that is some stinky-ass cheese. But that gets you the Say Cheese achievement, as it were. Oh man, you cheesy. You need a goddamn shower. I'll join you. Right. There we go, cheese less now. Right, next is talking about bug snacks. This one is story related. This one is just basically for interviewing every grumpus. So, there are 11 that you need to bring back to the main area. And every time you bring them back, what I will be showing in my 100% guide as well, is I end up just interviewing them every time that I've brought them back to bug snacks. Uh, <coughs> bug snacks, bloody snacks island. Uh, whatever bloody island we're on. <coughs> But anyway, like I said, we've got to do this anyway, so it's pretty much story related. So as soon as you interview the last one, you can just keep spamming the A button there to keep smashing through. By the way, I don't know what happened to my voice just now. <laughs> but as soon as we've done that, the Talking About Bug Snacks achievement will unlock. One must live content with the absence of no achievements. One must be really content with lots of achievements. So give me my damn achievements, bro! In its mystery. And there we go, we get it eventually. So again, you can do it one by one if you want, or you can just interview them all at the same time. Either way, you will unlock this. Next, as soon as we get everything, we can get out our buggy ball, uh, go next to sort of any tree, and then get your trip shot out, put it next to the tree, put it on the buggy ball, and then just wait until this bunger here grabs that one. This is in Garden Groves, by the way. Now, a lot of miscellaneous achievements and everything, the easiest place if you want them is to come to Garden Groves because it's the first, basically the first area that we came to. It's just much, much easier. Right. Combo meal and lime stuff. So what we need to do is transform a Grumpus with a bunger, a Frida, and a Sony. Now, a bunger that we just caught, this is a Frida. This is where you can also get the double trapped achievement as well. This is where you put the snap tracks down. Snack trap, sorry, 
Put the tomato sauce down and then wait for the two fridays to go in and that is another place that you can do that That's what I was talking about earlier and then the dr. Sodi here is floating down the river So all you've got to do is just wait um, I mean, it's very easy. You just put a snack trap down as soon as you start he's floating down this river Just put a snack trap down and then just wait for him to go under it And that's how you get that that's how you get the bunga the friday and the Sodi. very easy the Sodi one again those three are in Garden Grove, and as soon as you grab that then, what we need to do then, we have to go to Floofty anyway. So I wait until we get to Floofty's quest, side quest, uh, for f um, to get the achievement I'm stuffed, and that's for fully transforming a Grumpus. So, because a lot of the main quest and the side quest involve um, him getting the uh, fully transformed anyway, so... I said, well, I might as well kill two birds with one stone and get a bunga, a frida, and a sodi on him. And yam, yam, yam. Now, every Grumpus, by the way, needs 14. So basically, they need to eat 14 bug snacks, bug snacks to put in all 14 body parts. So, just be aware of that. Again, I think with every side quest and everything, you end up doing maybe even six or seven so you only need another six or seven bug snacks to do in order to fully transform a grumpus and i have to do it with all of them as well for another achievement later on um <clears throat> yeah so um so yeah like i said with all the main quests and side quests you end up doing about six or seven body parts changed on each Grumpus. So what you can do again is just go to Garden Grove, collect six or seven, come back, find who you're looking for, and just do that. It is um, obviously it's a bit of a grind, but it's not too bad. So when you have transformed Floofty with a bunga, Frider, and Sodi, and fully transformed him, there he goes. He is job done. That should be those two achievements there. Right. What we're going to do is go to Garden Grove now at the night time. Make sure it's night time. Very important. What you need to do as soon as we begin, turn around, click in the right. Uh, the right stick and then press the right trigger there to find the candid cryptid the sass snack squatch on the very final level of the game there is a snack squatch that is just standing perfectly still so if you want to wait till the very end of the game you can do that one as well you don't have to do the garden grove one there just thought it'd be easier to do that right suddenly best of midnight snack now we need to transform gramble who is dead against eating bug snacks you can only feed him in the night and we need to transform a grumpus using scoopy bonopper and cheery and the way you do that is when we come to frosted peaks you will find this scoopy bonoopy and what you have to do is basically set him on fire and he is going to start exploding he's always in this area um as you begin scoopy bonoopy man the the the, 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 the scoopy scoopy scoop it's so funny and this is where we get the Scooby, the Bonopper, and the Cheery. So, Cheery is easy enough. Uh -huh. What you have to do is just put a snack trap down, just like with a lot of them, like the Strabbies and the, all, the, all the sort of wiener ones, the small wiener ones. He's actually gone out the other side, so we'll try that one again. Uh, so, just put a snack trap down, move away as soon as he comes out, press the right trigger there to activate it. Bam, that is Cheery done. Right, now we will chew, uh, grab the Bonopper, who is hopping from tree to tree. And again, the only way that we can really do this is to use our trip shot. So from here, again, it could be different for you, but whatever, whatever tree he's gone onto, just um, use your trip shot on the tree and then put it onto the opposite side of the tree. He will always end up jumping into both of those, and he'll smash himself up. Lovely. He'll always only ever jump into three or four. You know, three or four trees at max. Right. And then from here, this is what a scooper is. Now, I've actually gone a bit further up from where we just were. But that is what a scooper looks like. Now, you can't just catch him. Um, you can't just stun him and catch him. You've got to put him on fire. Otherwise, he's going to freeze your nut sacks off. So, if you wanted to follow you, get a trip shot going on fire. Or, if it's easier, just keep smashing the chocolate down. And just put him into the campfire and um, he will just burn on fire that way as well. Wait, of course, until he stops being on fire. That always is pretty much handy as well. <laughs> My little hands. Oh, they burn me so much now. Okay. Right. When he's all good, he is going to start. He will sizzle off eventually. Come in. 
There he goes. So as soon as he sizzles off, he will have another 10 second countdown timer. And there we go. So that's how you catch the Scooby, catch the Scooby, Banopper, and Cheery. And then what we can do is just head back to Snacksburg. Again, make sure it is in the middle of the night. So if it's in the daytime, make sure to go to sleep until midnight. And then Gramble will come out of his farm all, you know, disorientated and all sleepy-like. I'm actually trying to find him, which is what I'm doing. But eventually, after about 30 in-game minutes or so, he comes out. Press the Y button to feed him. And then feed him. You don't need to feed him the Scooby Banoopy, but you can if you want. But you'll get the achievement there for Midnight Snack. Then just feed him the Scooby, the Banopper, and the Cheery as well. Now again, I had to do a little bit of editing right there because I did mess up first. But you have to give him the Scooby as well. Once they are all done, you will get the achievement called Sunday Best. So that's another two easy achievements there. Knocked, knocked out of the park. Come on. Right home. Next up then, we have Survivor and Vacations End. Now this one, you have to make sure that you make all the Grumpus invin invincible by doing all the side quests before doing the final mission. Now... Um, if you do all the side quests, they're all invincible, so you don't actually have to do anything. But basically, the survivor, the final mission is, you just have to protect everyone. Everyone will be attacked. Um, you'll go and see two people. They'll be attacked by all different bug snacks throughout the game. Not trying to spoil anything. Um, and you just got to make sure that none of the Grumpuses die. That is what you get the survivor achievement for. So, if you don't do all the side quests before doing the final mission, just make sure that none of the survivors die. If one of them does, I think you can just... Uh, quit out, completely quit out of the game, back to the Xbox main menu, and go again, and I think then you'll start at the same point before. Uh, you won't start at the beginning, you'll, I think you'll start at the same point. Um, fr from wherever you were, so I think there's like five or six. Uh, yeah, about five or six rounds, something like that. So you'll always start at the round rather than, rather than at the beginning, is what I'm trying to say. So that's how you get the survive one, but of course, you know, if you do all the side quests, then you don't have to worry about that. So that's what I highly recommend. What you would also get then is the Vacations End, which is of course for completing the story as well. That one is obviously very story related, so near panic, near bother. Buddy. All right, everybody. Now, even after the game, you can do any of the achievements that you want to anyway, if you did miss any. So for me, it was the Arms of the Gramble, which is donating the max amount of bug snacks to Gramble's Ranch. Now, again, the easiest way to do this, um, you know Gramble's Ranch, the little farm area, and you know Gramble by now if you've been playing. Uh, but all you have to do then to get... Um, to basically upgrade your backpack so you can carry more bug snacks. You just have to get um, Buggin snacks. Apparently I can't spell either. Uh, donate max amount of Buggin snacks to his ranch. This is where you put him in the farm. The donations area right there. So that's all you do. Now the easiest way to do this, if you're still missing a lot, just keep going back to Garden Grove. Sleep till noon. Go back to Garden Grove. Catch seven, eight or nine. You can probably get up to nine I think. Very easy in just a couple of minutes. Come back, donate all them, sleep till noon, and just rinse and repeat until you get the achievement. But again, Garden Grove for catching bug snacks and doing the missable achievements are came in mega handy. And for the final one of this one, it is the Feeding Frenzy achievement for fully transforming every Grumpus. Now, like I said... Earlier on, like I said, with the floofty, with the whole floofty thing, every time you do a main quest and the rest of the side quests, you're basically feeding, you're transforming every Grumpus with about six or seven bits of different bug snacks. So all you need to do, again, is just keep going back to Garden Grove, catch seven, eight, or nine, go back, transform the one uh, Grumpus, and then just keep rinsing and repeating on that. So go back to Garden Grove, catch another six or seven, go back. And sleep till noon, blah, blah, blah. Just keep rinsing and repeating that. Again, that can It depends on, how, obviously, how quick you can catch them. Um, I'm actually looking for Grumpus, or uh, Grambles, or whatever his bloody name is. This dude, Gramble. Because he is the final one for me. So, you, all 14 
body parts need to be transferred on all 11 Grumpuses. So once they are done, you will get the Feeding Frenzy achievement. And the rest... Now, obviously, the Documentarian achievement I've put in another video. A separate video, which is why I haven't done it in this one. Uh, just in case you're wondering why that's missing. Otherwise, that is the majority. That's basically all of the miscellaneous achievements done. So, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I do hope this helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share with a friend as well. And I'll see you in the next Bug Snacks Guide. Big love.